Hi, welcome to the show studio, and today's video is for the Gina B. Aarons Design Team SAR Challenge for September. Um, that picture is the um, digi download that she gave us as a prompt for this month, and the words are flushed crimson and wine. Um, so the wine glass, I guess. Um, yeah. I decided to go with crimson and I got this um, stuff at Hobby Lobby on clearance it's granulation medium and I thought it would be kind of fun to try to granulate my watercolors on this big sheet of paper I really don't know where I'm going from here but I thought it would be fun just to give it a try um, it's a big sheet of paper so the most likely thing is it's going to end up being ATCs. <laughs> and this is a voiceover, so you know I already know the answer. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going with some blue and some red because I figured if they mix, they'd make purple. And I've got a couple of different shades of blue there. You can just see, like, because I'm using strictly that granulation medium and not water there. I mean, I did wet the paints, but um, look at it. It's granulating like crazy. I probably overdid it. I probably didn't need... I should just, like, do a little bit of that with water because um, you don't need that much granulation. But that was really fun to check it out and see what it would do. So adding that crimson, or red, um, this is getting really interesting. <laughs> and now I'm just splattering. Just making this whole big thing interesting. We'll keep adding to it though. Alright, so we're going to add some colors, and that one looks kind of pinkish, but it said crimson right on the package. <laughs> so, we're going to use some of Gina's stencils. These can be found in her Etsy store. Don't forget, there will be a link to her Etsy store down below, and um, you can find any of the products there. Plus, there is a discount code if you use Margel15. Try to remember to put that down below as well. Um, you can go shop at her store and find some really fun stuff. She has lots of these fun little stencils and I'm using them to make a super busy um, background. I, I layer quite a bit. Sorry if you hear the barking dog in the background. He's outside, I'm inside. Alright, so that's gotten pretty, pretty scary looking. So now I'm taking one of her Digi Download pages, um, the Mega Bundle that I've been using all year, <laughs> and um, tear, tore it into strips, and now, now I'm using a glue stick and we're just going to glue these down. I eliminate most of the green that you saw on there and just do the pink and red colors. And we're just going to put this all over the place.
So I decided it needed something, um, can I say stabilizing? It's kind of a hectic sort of mess, so I am taking some of my black and white washi tape and just adding a little bit of that and um, hoping it helps calm things down a bit. <laughs> At least that was my my hope. I'm not sh so sure that's where it went, but we're gonna cut it into ATCs, so it will it, it'll all work out. This is another one of hers. It's a I think she calls it a build your own sticker thing. There's all these layers, and you can print them onto sticker paper and any way you want, and create stickers. It's kind of fun, and we're just gonna glue these circles on randomly very randomly And now I decided to take a pen and just scribble around the circles. And I'm writing like motivational words, believe, dream, imagine, create. Um, not intended to be perfectly legible, just adding it for the heck of it. Just to add some scribbles on the page, I think, was the, was the idea. And I thought I'd do it in red as well. Gotta get the crimson in, right? I tried doing a little bit in white. It's really not very visible. Um, Maybe a little bit. I went around the little, I don't know what, half flower pattern. So now I decided maybe adding a stencil in white, and this is another one of Gina's stencils. Um, adding it in white might calm things down some more because it really is kind of all over the place. And so the plan is just to cover you know lots of it with her arrow stencil which is one of my favorites I love the arrows I decided you couldn't see it very well so I decided to outline it with some pens I thought that one was kind of bold so I decided to try another one that was a little thinner I think I'm just trying to figure out which pen to use there. So that one's, oh, it's not thinner, it's gray. It's a gray color. So then I end up almost too light. So I go back and forth with the light and the dark, making it as busy as ever. And just to top it all off, let's splatter some white paint on there, shall we? All right, so while that's drying, I'm going to set that aside, and we're going to make a little focal point for our ATCs. So this is one of her stamp sets. Um, can't remember the number, don't have it right here handy at the moment. I'll put it below, I promise. All right, so we're going to make some focal images, so I'm going to stamp a whole bunch of flowers and then a whole bunch of her leaf pattern. So there's the flowers, 
Here's the leaf, and I'm using Archival in black, I believe. And trying to do as many of one as I did of the other. And now we're just going to take more of that same color, the red and the blue, and paint our flowers. The yellow centers got a little muddy, but I'm blotting them off, and then they look better. Alright, so I went and I cut all of these into ATC size, and they're kind of fun just the way they are. You know, I, I they don't really need a focal, but we're going to do it anyway. I don't do it on all of them, so I have leftovers of everything. Um, but we are going to just place that on there and make the the rest of that the background and I think that's the best way to go so let's glue those down and this is Tombow Mono Aqua <laughs> that's what it's called uh, it's uh, it was around a lot longer than Aileen's tacky, but it was just handy, so I grabbed it. I'll just put something on there to hold it down while it dries. I need to find something. I know some people have those weights. I don't know what they're from, but I want them. I just need to figure out where to find them. And I won't make you watch me do all of them. We'll just do a couple. And then I think I'm going to send those out to somebody. Well, to some buddies. <laughs> Alright, so once I've got a stack of them, I'm going around. This is a Stabilo All pencil. And, um... Shading the main focal point because it is super busy. So if we do that, we'll make that stand out. Push the background into the background, hopefully a little bit. I just go around it and then take some water and a paintbrush. I know, it's still pretty busy. One thing I didn't do that I kind of regret before cutting that up, I didn't scan it um, into my computer. If you scan something you create like that, you can use it over and over again. Just like Gina's Digi Downloads, they can, once you've bought them, they're yours. It's a digital file, you can print it over and over again. 
So these stickers are also a digi download of Gina's. Um, she has some word downloads that um, fit onto label stickers. I didn't have the right size labels, so I just used what I had. I just cut them to size. And we're just going to add words. And I'm picking them slightly at random, as you can tell. Because I have a whole bunch to put on. And it's too hard to decide. Alright, some close-ups of a few of the ATCs are coming up. Don't forget to check the links below. It'll be all the other design team members. Um, go check them out. I'm sure they've made wonderful stuff this month. Um, if you liked my video, please hit like. I'd love to hear your comments. And if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.